Hi, I'm Claire Bertelaya. I'm an architect and a lighting designer. Um, I should say that light for me was love at first sight. It was back at university while I was studying for my degree in architecture and for an exam I was part of a team and we were designing um, a conference space uh, with a massive skylight. Therefore, uh, we needed to consider the effect of natural light uh, in the entire spaces. But at the time, we knew nothing about lighting, natural light and lighting in general. Therefore, uh, we were looking for advices and we got particularly lucky because nearby um, there was uh, um, the studio of a lighting expert called Mario Bonomo. So we went to his studio, to his studio and uh, we found uh, not just a, light, a lighting expert, but someone completely passionate about light. And in the little time we spent in his, suit, in his studio, he succeeded in uh, transmitting this passion to all of us. And that was it. Um, I, from that moment, I couldn't think uh, about uh, uh, architecture separated from lighting. Um, I did my thesis on lighting and newly qualified, I started work, uh, I started to work, I start work uh, in uh, Bonomo's studio. I work uh, uh, in Italy um, with uh, Mario Bonomo for 17 years and uh, since 2005 I have been uh, um, a university lecturer for Politecnico and the Laboratorio Luce. Um, at the moment I just started my new lighting adventure um, as an associate for Luxology, which is a lighting design practice in London. Um, the UK market is uh, really, really an interesting one. Uh, it's very lively and uh, it's not uh, uh, subjected by the ups and downs of uh, the uh, European economic, uh, economic uh, uh, situation. And uh, it, it provides uh, uh, opportunities for very good and original designs, uh, thanks also to the innovative atmosphere that is uh, the London design scene. Here in the UK, um, the powerful connection between uh, architecture and lighting uh, is uh, uh, more evident than ever. Uh, a lighting designer is always present uh, in the design team from the beginning. Um, wherever it is uh, a new construction, a restore, a rest a restoration or even just a simple uh, refurbishment. And this is uh, how it should be um, to get the best from a project uh, in uh, terms of uh, function functionality, in terms of aesthetic, in terms of efficacy and uh, efficiency. Um, unfortunately, in Italy, the lighting designer is still uh, considered a sort of a luxury um, and uh, it's uh, only consulted if there is a real uh, lighting challenge. And that normally happens almost uh, always at the end of the construction uh, process. Um, and when the, the original team cannot fix it, basically. So uh, the lighting designer is called to fix the problem with the minimal uh, uh, modification in the construction and with the minimal budget, because normally the budget uh, has been already spent uh, or it has never even considered as uh, uh, at the beginning of, uh, of the process. Um, so it's not even uh, inserted in the original construction estimate. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, this trend is changing and um, leading to new opportunities for uh, lighting experts. And uh, the Italian market is finally opening and growing and uh, in need of capable lighting designers. Uh, in my opinion, a good uh, designer must always be alive to multiple cultural uh, influences, not just lighting. And he or she uh, never should never lose uh, this child uh, this child childish way of looking at things. Um, he must have uh, bigger ears and eyes uh, than mouth to listen and uh, collecting information to understand the needs of the client and uh, the philosophy of the architect, the engineer or the interior designer is working with. And in this way, it can deliver a lighting proposal that is tailored to suit uh, even the tested and spoken requirements. 
Um, to do that, obviously, the designer must uh, have a solid technical uh, knowledge, and uh, in this way is when uh, uh, a, master, a master course uh, in lighting design, such as the one provided by Polytechnico uh, in Milan, is very useful. Um, and he should uh, continuously update himself uh, in terms of professional skills uh, and uh, uh, also because of the um, evolvement of the, of the sector, of the lighting sector. Uh, this is uh, to remain uh, completely up to speed uh, uh, on every kind of development uh, in design, in technology and in products. I personally found it extremely frustrating uh, the trial and error method of lighting. Uh, whenever you use uh, a lighting software or you go on site with a bag full of luminous, uh, um, experimenting until satisfied. This is a very time wasteful approach that never leads to the best design. The design process should start uh, uh, in your ears, as I said, uh, listening and uh, collecting information. Then the process moves to your uh, eyes, where you carefully observe the space uh, and uh, its connection with the environment. And finally, the process travels to your brain, where you design, you create your design, you uh, compare different solutions and you eliminate the unsatisfying one and you finally uh, verify, technically verify the chosen one. Mm, at this point, the design, if the design is particularly complex uh, or you are exploring um, an innovative solution or the use of a luminar that is not, uh, um, uh, is a little bit unexpected, let's say, uh, a software calculation or even a mock-up uh, could uh, give you confidence uh, and in this way you can be 100% sure of uh, the final result. So at the end of the day uh, you can say that a lighting designer is a technician but uh, he is a technician with the soul of an artist uh, and he is a technician that creates uh, visual emotions uh, and uh, he does that uh, uh, with something that is intangible, it is light. Thank you.